for those that are new to my channel, um, I just started a series basically of following uh, the Nigerian brothers uh, on uh, this market rebellion three at three that John Nigerian puts out every day. And so let me go to just uh, right to uh, what's happened in the last couple of days. Well, yesterday, as you can see here, let me bring it up. Uh, John Nigerian did not do a three at three. So that's why I didn't release a video. Um, but we get to today. Um, they did release one. And uh, however, where they usually put in a summary of the three trades, it's going to take me a minute to get through all three trades because um, they're, they're individual, which he does. And then usually all three of them are at the end of the video. But uh, so let me get to the spots that uh, they start to talk about these things and we'll just kind of walk through and I'll go through one by one and, and move through it. Um, the first one is at 543, oh, here it is, Man U. So this was a, a bearish combo. Uh, the stock was trading at 25.05 when uh, either picked up the information on these unusual activity stocks. And um, I was not able to complete this trade. So uh, in my paper account, so I only did the first half of it, which you'll see here in a minute, uh, just because it was <laughs> your, you're buying puts and then you're also selling calls, which is like about as negative as you can get on a stock. So I wasn't able to place that. And I think this is wrong here. It says five. I think they, they paid $1.50 for uh, this uh, portion. And uh, so I went back in and when I put it into my um, paper account, you'll see I only did the first half of the trade and I struggle with it. And that's why we've got some weird numbers here. But in essence, um, I was able to get it for a dollar. So whereas they paid a dollar five, I paid a dollar for it on the front end of that trade. So there it is in there. And I'll go through all these here once I get through uh, what was released today. Um, then we go to the next one and uh let's see it's seven about 731 this may be it yeah there we go bring make this a little larger for everybody um is stm uh i'll get to the the actual name of i've never heard of the company before but it's a bearish put that they bought for 59 to 67 cents they're the february 48 puts uh by the time I got into this trade um, and put it into the portfolio, it was already at 85 cents. So here they're basically uh, betting that the, this will go down. Uh, and, and because of that, I didn't take either. First of all, I'm a Chelsea fan. <laughs> so um, as long as Pulisic's there. So uh, Man United is not one of my favorite teams so I have that difficulty although if it was a good trade I'd, I'd trade it I just don't know enough about uh, sports teams and things of that sort um, and, and being on on the market and then STM here what is it? ST microelectronics not familiar with it uh, not traded anything really close to that stock so I I personally passed on it and um, so that you'll see what we're running here. Uh, but I had to pay 85 cents for it. By the time I got in, I was able to make the trade, which wasn't really that much longer after they had released the three at three, which probably by, I'm gonna say by 3.30, I had placed a trade already gone up uh, in price to 85 cents. So these people have made a little bit of money. Um, and 
the last one that he had was Google at, let's see, about the 941 mark. There we go. Uh, make this bigger again. They did, uh, it, was, it was trading for 94.85. It was a bullish call on Google. Uh, some July 120 calls. Uh, they purchased for about $2. Um, there was open interest of 31.56 apparently when they bought it. Uh, I bought it for, I believe, a dollar in my personal account. I went with this. Uh, a lot of my trading is swing trading, and a lot of it is uh, kind of buy and hold um, stocks. And this is a little further out than I, I normally go. But um, I thought having some uh, exposure to longer dated things, and Google, obviously, good company. They're struggling you know, right now. They just had 12,000 uh, people that they laid off. And, um, you know, I'm not a fan of that as a, a um, consultant. I usually recommend to the companies that I work with to try and keep their employees and do some other things first before they lay off employees. And, and it just goes against my nature that you get to the point where you got to lay off like 50,000 so people or uh you know, 12,000 people all at once that, you, you know, you could be keeping up with this uh, more incrementally rather than this mass exodus of people. It just creates a bottleneck in a number of ways in organizations that, that most people don't see that I've seen over and over again. Um, so usually companies I work with wind up, they don't have to do these things because they're already, you know, relatively, um, profitable and always looking to stay that way innovating those types of things but anyway um, I did I did buy a small portion of this um, in my personal account but again you know you can go to see where we have um, you know where I bought it in this account for $1.98 as, as opposed to the two dollars I think they paid for it <clears throat> excuse me on Google and you know now you kind of um, you know look at each of these uh, I you know right now there it's $44 down now remember I didn't buy equal dollar amounts of these things I bought one share of you know if there were two legs then I bought two two shares but in essence one for the the top and one for the bottom or one for the put one for the call if that was the the arrangement um and so just to kind of you know level set i didn't make it you know five hundred dollars worth in here just one you know one, one contract of a hundred a hundred stocks uh, uh in options so that's what I, this is where we stand today and um you know you know it's early we'll see see how things go some of these already i believe the man you well, that's april uh the google again is in july uh on or on uh the semiconductor is in april so that's a little ways off uh the starbucks one is february 17th so that's next week when it expires and then you got the stm uh, that expires next friday also and then the Western Union uh, call, uh, basically, um, is the last one that I have on here. So those are the six, six stocks that uh, they have talked about at three at three. So that's where we stand right now. And remember, I'm doing this uh, just to see. I, you know, I don't know most of like these I have. Uh, that are in there in my paper account here and uh, not my live trading except for the ones that I tell you about that I, I did put in and they're roughly the same price uh, that I have um, I think the ones that I am right now uh, are W uh, I, did, I passed on Starbucks and STM uh, I did get into the semiconductor so I'm down a little bit in there and then uh, the Google one are the three that I have in my personal account right now, and they're not large positions. They're just ones I'm, uh, that I that seem to make sense according to the uh, 
things I'm reading about them and, and uh, looking at the companies. So anyway, that's why I'm doing it is to learn, uh, to see if there's better ways of, uh, you know, doing things and does this make sense? Uh, does it not make sense? And hopefully everyone else uh, learns from it. And uh, I, you know, for anything, I think you always try and look for a better way of doing something. And that's how I end this. Remember, there is always a better way.